Hi guys, welcome back to In Case of Econ Struggles. Welcome to another micro struggle. Today I want to go over Lagrangian cost minimization and also Shepard's lemma. Timestamps are below if you would like to jump around, but this will be a pretty quick video, so let's go ahead and get right into it. So generally, when we're setting up a cost minimization problem, we're trying to minimize costs, and you have two general types of costs. You're going to pay your workers and you're going to pay for your machines. How much do you pay your workers? Will you pay them a wage times the number of workers? How much do you pay for capital? the rental rate times the number of machines. And you are trying to do that such that you produce a certain number of stuff. So our constraint here is gonna be that your production function needs to crank out at least Q bar number of units. So I can go ahead and turn that into a Lagrangian. It's gonna look something like this. And now I am all ready to take my first order conditions. So here are my first order conditions. So basically all this is going to say is that I'm going to pay the marginal product to my inputs. So for example, my wage is gonna be equal to the marginal product of labor and my rental rate is going to be equal to the marginal product of capital. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug this into my production function. That is going to tell me my conditional factor demand. Conditional factor demand just being a fancy word for my K star and my L star. Then I can use K star and L star to get my value function for this problem, which is just my cost function. That was sort of hand wavy, and let's go into an example. So let's use Cobb Douglas. So my production function is just going to be K to the one half, L to the one fourth, just to give it decreasing returns to scale. Remember that when we're doing cost minimization, we can do cost minimization for any type of production function, but we can only do profit maximization for decreasing returns to scale production functions. So here is my setup for this specific example. I'm just walking through the math here, my first order conditions right here. Here is me simplifying the two first order conditions. And once I simplify those two first order conditions, I get K star as a function of L star. I'm gonna plug that in for my production function and say that that needs to be equal to Q bar. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through all of that math. I'm gonna get L star is this really funky looking expression here. And then I'm going to plug this L star up here into K star and get my conditional factor demand for capital as well. Notice that both conditional factor demands are a product of two things. They are a product of both the Q bar, the amount of product that I want to make, and they're a product of my input costs, which are R and W. So I'll go ahead and add this Q bar over here as well. Probably going to have dropped the Q bar in a lot of places, but whenever you see little Q, just think Q bar. Once we have K star and L star, then generally we're done. Generally, you're looking to find the conditional factor demand. What happens if you have a cost function and you want to go to conditional factor demand? Well, there's an easy way to do that by way of the envelope theorem. The way this works for the envelope theorem is called Shepard's Lemma. Same thing as for the expenditure minimization problem, but now we're talking about production. So if I have this C star, again, I'm at the optimum and there's a marginal change in something, say the marginal change is in the cost of labor, then DC DW is all of these indirect effects. So like this is an indirect effect through labor, we don't care. This is an indirect effect through the amount of capital, we don't care. We're not gonna switch our optimal L and K just for a tiny change in W. The only thing that's gonna happen is we are going to have an increased cost because we are paying each unit of labor the change in wage. So we're just gonna have L star. So this is zero and that is also zero. So we will cross them out. And DC star DW is just equal to labor. And if we were to do the same thing, we could say that D star DR is also zero plus zero, where these zeros are DC, DL, DL, DR, DC, DK, DK, DR, plus K star is equal to zero. So that's how we can use Shepard's lemma for the cost minimization problem using the envelope theorem. And that is just roughly how we do Lagrangian cost minimization. This was helpful. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time for another case of econ struggles.